What's up guys, today I'm gonna go over body game and how it can keep a woman attracted to you for a very long time, even if they are no longer dealing with you. And this could apply even if you are still in a relationship with a woman, your body game is what keeps them physically attracted to you and it's very important. So what I'm going to do is go over a true story of something that happened to me, because if you've seen the videos on this channel before, you know that I usually give you true stories of things that happened to me. I'm not pulling these from anywhere else. Most of everything I talk about and teach comes from my own personal experiences. So once again, this is going to be another true story that proves that your body game is so important and it can keep a woman attracted to you for a very, very long time. Now, this situation with the person that I'm, I'm talking about in this story is a ex-girlfriend. And I haven't dated them for, it's, it's been a while. And I mean, mean that like it's been more than a year since I dated them. And they had moved on. So, I'm sitting in my kitchen one day and I'll, I randomly get a phone call. And it is from that ex-girlfriend. We're going to call this ex-girlfriend... Um, Jackie. We're going to say her name's Jackie. Jackie calls me and she says, hey, send me a picture of your body real quick. And I'm like, yo, what, what's up? What you, what you need a picture for? She says, please hurry up. Please, please, please send me a picture of your body. All right. And she was like, I was like, um, I joke with her. I say, hey, that's going to be, I, I'm a, I usually charge 50. I'm going to charge you 30 for right now. I'm going to charge you 30. And she starts laughing. She's like, come on, I really need it. And I'm like, this is like the weirdest phone call I ever got. And I'm like, what? So I said, hang up. It did cash out me 30. And she hangs up. And she's laughing. She's in this good mood. And I'm like, what is going on? Now, I knew what was really going on. I knew that this was a situation where she wanted to show somebody else a picture of what I look like or a picture of my body. And you may not believe that that's the thing that a woman would want to do, but why would they want to do that? It's because she was obviously impressed by it, and it was such a turn on to her that she wants to show it off to someone else as to look at the guy I used to deal with. Look at the body that this guy had on him. So I go ahead and send the photo because I always keep a photo on stock of what my body looks like or either... I'm capable of just taking a photo on some days. I can just take a picture and I have like a nice six pack look going on. And so I send her a photo and I joke with her a little bit. I'll see if I can put some of the, the text messages up here, but I joke with her and then I'm like, oh man, I hope if you're trying to hook me up with your friend, I hope she's, she's cute, things like that. And then you'll see on some of the text messages that I end up putting up here, that basically, yeah, she was she was showing her friend my pictures. We ended up talking about this later, and she was showing a friend of hers my my photos, and this also triggered that that response that made her want to hang out with me too. She wanted to see me, um, Jackie, the ex girlfriend, and now I knew beforehand that Jackie is in a relationship. She has a boyfriend. But her boyfriend is not on top of his body game. Her boyfriend is is fat, basically. So there's always going to be a difference is what I'm telling you. Because some women are going to be in relationships with guys that they think are nice guys. And they're cool and all. But a lot of times a woman remembers that guy that had discipline. That had his body on point. That was masculine. All these things will resonate with a woman for a very long time so that even though they could they can even get into a new relationship and somehow they still can't get their mind off of you. Think about this. This woman, Jackie, she's in a relationship and she's still trying to show off my body to another woman while I'm sure that friend has to know that she has a boyfriend, that Jackie has a boyfriend. But this just goes to kind of show you too like how women think and operate in their own personal space so you can have two women that know they are in relationships and they will still talk about other guys just like hey guys do it too sometimes but i'm letting you know women do it as well and this is proof that's why i make so many videos so you can get realistic perspectives of what goes on with women how their minds operate because you never know one day you could be that boyfriend you could be jackie's boyfriend thinking that your your girlfriend or your wife's just being this innocent angel and she may not actually be 
and I'm not telling you to get scared of this, just giving you some reality. So Jackie's showing the pictures off, and then she's talking about her body. If I get some of these text messages up here, it is going to get a little bit on the sexual side where she starts kind of, we both start kind of reminiscing about some times we had. I start joking with her about how things were in the bedroom. And then she remembers that and she's actually playing along with, she likes reminiscing about those, those moments that me and her had in the bedroom. And this is just crazy, guys. Like, once you see these photos up here, I want to know what you guys think in the comments. Like, have you dealt with situations like this? Or have you ever suspected that maybe your girlfriend was somewhat like Jackie and you weren't you weren't fine, you weren't sure how to catch her in this? Because I'm, I'll tell you right now, most of the times women do cover themselves so that you're not really going to catch them in these situations like they will probably delete the photo archive the photo they will do all kinds of stuff that you won't even know all all that boyfriend may know is that jackie went out for drinks or something with her her girlfriend but really on top of doing that so she didn't lie she did go out for drinks with her girlfriend but what jackie was also doing was contacting an ex-boyfriend which was me asking for pictures of his body and then she as you can see, she continued with a conversation that was a little sexual. And then it actually, you know, it led to like she wanted to end up hanging out with me and all that stuff. So once again, guys, this is how example of why your body game needs to be on point. You want a woman to be able to fantasize about you long term because in the end, women do respect a nice guy. Well, they like a nice guy. They say they want to be in a relationship with a nice guy. Really, they just mean they want to be in a, a relationship with somebody who's not mean that's really what they mean by that they just want a guy who's not mean or a complete complete jerk and overall though what they are really attracted to like deep down is somebody that they had intimate moments with is somebody who they were like physically attracted to in order to be physically attractive to most women you have to represent a masculine type of look in some way you may not look fully like the most masculine man ever but having your body game on point a guy that has some muscle on him the guy has six pack abs if possible everybody doesn't need a six pack but just whatever the body game is like for you something that shows hey this guy works out he's got some muscle he's not scrawny he's strong all these things represent masculinity and women at the end of the day are deeply attracted to masculinity and they don't always end up in relationships with masculine men what they do is they cheat with a masculine man and end up with a man that just seems to take care of them or is just a nice guy so you got to be mindful of that not all women get into relationships with masculine men